It's 2015, I'm pumped and excited. Last year was awesome, but this year I have some changes to make it even better. It's the weekend, so I just wanted to shoot a quick video, have some fun, recap what happened last year, some of the big moments, and what are some of the big changes that I have planned for this year. So let's just jump right into it. Hands down, the biggest moment for me and my fiance Anita was that we bought a house. Now if you follow me online anywhere, you probably already know this. It's such a huge moment for us to have a place where we can call our own, to make our own. Um, and one of the greatest things is that I have my own workspace now. I no longer have to work where I sleep. I have space to store all my equipment. I have my own private area where I can just put on headphones, put my head down, and really get out some good quality work. Shortly after we moved into our new house, we had a little surprise. Anita works in a pet hospital where she's dealing with a lot of pets and pet parents. A specific dog and their parent came into her work and they wanted to give him up. They said he was a little bit too aggressive. They didn't want to deal with him anymore. So they wanted to euthanize him, to have him put him down. Luckily, the people at her work and Anita didn't see it that way at all. So they had them surrender the dog to her work. And he probably would have gone to an adoptage agency or something like that. But instead, Anita wanted to adopt him. So we brought him home, started testing it out, seeing how it went, and we have a new dog. His name is Benny. He is a Labrador. I think he's mixed with a Weimaraner, so he has this kind of silvery brown look to his fur. And he is now the happiest spoiled dog ever. I like to joke around to say that he has better health care than us. So now that we have Ivan and Benny, we're just a really small little happy family in our new home. And that's something that I am extremely happy with that happened in 2014. And really, I couldn't ask for any more at this point. So aside from the personal stuff, I also want to talk about some of the big stuff that happened in my freelance business. It was the most successful year I had ever had. I landed some of the biggest projects and clients uh, that I've ever worked with, which has kind of lessened or maybe even gotten rid of the scarcity mindset that I've had for the past three to four years of worrying where my next paycheck, next project is gonna come from. Because of that, it's like the most amazing feeling for a freelancer to finally be doing what you love and not having to worry about where money or where projects are gonna come from. I worked with some amazing clients on some amazing projects and I only hope that I can work on even cooler projects this year, 2015. Which brings me to my plans for this year. I did a lot of writing in 2014 on my blog, Your Freelance Career, which is a site dedicated to freelancing individuals looking to start their own freelance business. I came out with a new blog post every single Monday and I did that throughout the whole year. Huge accomplishment. However, I want to make some pivots in what I focus on this year. I was stressing a lot about what to come out with every single week, what to talk about. I'm not the best writer. It takes me a long time to get my thoughts out onto paper. So this year, I'm taking a step back on my posting schedule from every week to every other week. So I'm doing bi-weekly posts on your freelance career moving forward. And the second biggest thing about my writing is that I'm taking a shift in the audience that I'm targeting. No longer am I targeting just the, the freelancer in general, you know, a freelancing individual. Rather, I'm targeting young freelance graphic designers who want to work from home. And the reason for this is something that I've learned from targeting everyone is that if you're trying to market to everyone, then you'll reach no one. I'm a 24 year old freelance graphic designer who works from home. That's where I have all of my experience and insight from, and that's what I have to share. I can't really relate to someone that's 40 plus years old, who has a family that wants to become a writer or photographer, but that's not to say that the content that I have to share won't be valuable still. You can still pick from it, um, apply it to what you wanna do and how you wanna work that into your own plan. I'm also still accepting guest writers. So anyone that has an experience on, you know, freelancing from anywhere in the world, if they bounce around, if they have a family, um, anything like that, they're welcome to contribute articles. And you know, my door is wide open to anyone that wants to share their insights and experiences on freelancing. So with this shift in my writing, that frees up my schedule a bit. And that's, and this is the whole point is that my design work was lacking and I wanna put a lot more focus back on my design work. I wanna take on more logos and t-shirts and I really wanna be able to put my head down and really grind out some quality work. My main goal with all of these shifts is that I want my writing to become a byproduct of my design work. And then aside from all the business stuff and freelancing, uh, I just want to focus on my health and fitness. I've struggled with sticking to eating healthy and exercise for forever. So that's something I really want to focus on as well and the personal side of things. You know, I have everything I could need or want and I'm extremely happy. So I want to focus on myself. 
and getting healthier and more fit. You know, I, I sit in this office seven days a week, most of the time, most of the day. So, you know, that's something I really do need to focus on. So that's everything I really wanted to say in this video. So the next thing is I want to hear from you. What were some of the big things for you last year and what are your big plans for 2015? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss my next video. And if you're feeling good today, click the like button. Thanks for watching. Let's make this an awesome year. Was that?